Hello everyone, my name is Alan, I'm from Cyber Lab, and today I will show another option for VPN. The name of this application that I will show is called Zero Tier. Okay, if in the last video I show how to install Tailscale, why I wanted to show another option for VPN? It's easy, for you have other options. In my videos you're gonna see that I like to show different options, because you can have a different option. Maybe one option of application fit better for your needs compared for others. So you don't need to stay always in the same application or do always the same way. You have a lot of different options to choose. This reason I wanted to show this zero tier because it's another option for VPN and this one don't need any configuration, basically zero configuration. If you like this idea and want to know a little bit more about this program, don't, don't forget to leave the like, subscribe for the channel, and let's see how to do it. Let's start. First thing that we're gonna do is open the website for Zero Tier where we can have a look a little bit more for this application and see if it fits your needs. Okay, in the website for Zero Tier, they already start as a security connection, any device anywhere. It means you can connect any device anywhere. They have a lot of applications that you can install for different platforms. If you go there, you can see how to build your network, but not yet. We're gonna down a little bit and they say that have more than 3 million devices connected. Also have 7K uh, GitHub starts and a monthly active use is more than 550,000 users. Seems quite a lot. Okay, if you go down a little bit, they say that uh, you can connect your team or your cloud or your desktop anywhere, anyway, and it's quite easy to do it with different networks. If you go a little bit down, they try to explain how it's work, the connection between network. It means that you can do one network that's connected to this application, then another network that connects this device, and another network that connected this device, and therefore everything connects for zero tier. This way you have a fast speed, what they advise, a flexible, you can have a two layers or more layers of network. Also you have the security for zero tier that you have a encryption for all your data going through the network and outside from the network. Remember, this one is not a VPN provider where they encrypt your data for outside the, your ISP. Basically this VPN is only for you be able to access externally your network your network. So if you look for a specific VPN to connect outside, look for others provide for a VPN. This one, it's only to connect your home network. This reason that's going here. And that they have different size that you can choose. In our case, we go for individual users because we don't have a massive plant and lots of users. If you want to go for a little bit more users, you can do, but then we'll have the pricing. If you come here in the pricing now, as I told, we go for individual use or base, where we have up to 50 members for the network, one administration, and have the support for community. It means that zero tier will not support you for your installation, as usually GitHub have lots of information that you can look on it. If you go for a, a option that is a professional one, that costs 49 pounds a month, you can have up to 500 users, 10 administration, have a priority support and if you need more than 500 users that would not be my case you can connect the enterprise option and that you can define your needs here they, they say a little bit for the license that you are getting as well if you want to contact them but it's not the case okay now we go back here in the option for download and we're gonna see which platforms that they have for download and here it's quite easy windows mac os android ios Linux, FreeDBS, and NAS. It means that you can install almost all the platform that you want. If they're able to install in Android, it means that they have support for ARM. Probably you're gonna be able to install in the Raspberry Pi. I don't see any problem for it. And now we're gonna install using Linux option. Here the both options that you can install. The first one required that you have a SSL authentication for your site. This is, this is the option that if you want a little bit more secure, you can use your own SSL certification as well to connect to your own site. But in our case, we're gonna install the more secure option that they say that you don't require any certification SSL. They are doing everything for you. So we're gonna install this option. To do the installation, we're gonna install in an open media file, this reason that I decided the Linux option. So let's start to install. The device that I'm gonna install, it's an open media file 
and let's uh, have the operating system Debian. But as well, we'll work with uh, Ubuntu. So if we open our OpenMediaVal, the IP address that is, is installed, this OpenMediaVal, it's 192.168.1.88. So we can open our PuTTY and start the installation. As, as this OpenMediaVal is recently installed, they don't have the core option. So I need to install it. Before I install, I leave this one proposedly. I didn't make the update of my library. When I try to install it, they will have a problem. Error that will not find information, only to show why it's really important for you to update your library really often before any installation. So I'm gonna run it. They ask if I want to reinstall it. I will go yes. And done. Failure. They say that they didn't find this information for installation for the core. Why? My library is not updated. So they suggest me to run apt get update. So I will do it. I do. After they finish the update, I will clear the page and now I can install the core. Same way, they ask me if I want to install it, I say yes. And now it's installed successful. Now I can install my serial tier. They suggest us to use the second command. So I run it. So we wait some minutes until they finish it to do the download and the installation and that is done. They say that my address is this one for my device. So I will need to use it for an input or I can have the other option to join my connection. So I go to my zero tier and do the login. Once that I do the login, uh, they will open this page. This page means that I need to create my connection. So I go there and click create a network. Here they read appear my network that I create. I will open this network option and I will start to edit it. Here it's my network ID. Here I will change the name of my network, put CyberLab. I can put any description, but in this case, I will not put anything. I can define which kind of connection that I want, if I want private or a public. If I put public, each 30 days, they will be removed and I need to rejoin it. If it's private, they will become a member, we never need to rejoin it, and it's easy. So I can go down and here they suggest the IP address that I'm using. Here is the internal IPs of my holder that they suggest. If I go here, I can use any of those options. In this case, I will leave the red suggest one, but I can decide any one of those. And then I go down if I have a subdomain that I want to connect and the IP address of my server, and I can submit it. We are not going to do it. If you want to do it, feel free, but I'm, I don't need to do it. And here I can add manual my user. Previously, I copied the address of my user, so I can come here and paste and put submit. The red appear here, my user and I can define the name of my user. The name of my user is OMV6. And now I can put a description, NAS, why not? Now I can come here and put allowed network bridge. It means that it will be a bridge between device. So we can leave it and update our page now. Now we need to wait some minutes until get it connect and appear as online. But anyway, I will show the other option for you join this connection. So you can delete this device. Other option to connect to your device, you go for the join option. You can go sudo zero tier click join and the IP of your machine that you define. And if they appear 200 join, okay, it means that they connect, okay. And let's see if really connect. I come here and refresh this page. So here appear my user on v6, the same way that I had before delete. The red appear online and here will be my IP address. So it's working, it's a good sign. If I want to access my device outside for network, I'll use this IP address or the name that they defined. But until now, I didn't convince you that it's really work or not. This way, I'll open one of my VMs, it's a Windows 10 that I create. I open the browser and I go to zero tier, zero tier. I open zero tier and go to the option for download. In the load, I will choose the Microsoft Windows. They come here, they will finish the load. Now I can open this application. They will ask, you're sure? Yes, I want to install it. They'll take some seconds until finish the install. They ask if you want to connect for the network, say yes. Come here again and say the installation is complete. Okay, and I wait until finish it. Once that finish, I need to open my zero tier, start zero tier. So I come here, right click and I say join network. 
Now I use the same IP address for my network. So I come here and copy this IP address and come back for my VM. So I pass the ID for my network and I put join. After this one, they say, yes, you want to connect? Yes, I want to do it. I come here and right click and they say connect for my address. So I can open again my zero tier and check if it's really connect or not. If I come here, the red appear my second network. I say that I allowed to connect it and I put the name Windows. Windows. Description, I will leave it empty. Here red appear that's online, the version that I use and the IP address for use. So if I copy this IP address, I can try to run it and see if it's really connecting. So how I do it? I pass my IP address and now I run the connect for my open VPN outside from my network. As well, you always can put slash OMV6 and run. As well, you can connect for your open media vault. So you don't need to only to stop for the IP address that they have. You can use as well your, the name that you define. So you can have a lot of names and all the time that you put this name, they'll connect automatically for this one. Before I forget, the procedure to install in your phone is exactly the same as I show for the Telescale. Only thing that you need to download the application in your phone. Instead of making the login, you need to join the connection with the same IP address that you used to join for the Windows option. It's done, that's it. Really easy, zero configuration, as I told, don't need the port forwarding, don't need anything. So in this video, I show another option of VPN that you can use where it's required zero configuration. So it's really good for you. If you like this video and didn't leave your like yet, please leave your like, subscribe for the channel and see you next video. Bye.